Here we have some blast able news today about the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. According to Tipster Jukin and Jason C, they have leaked Geekbench benchmark scores for the Exynos 2600 chip. According to a test conducted on October 29, the scores are single core score 3455, multi core score 11621. These are very strong results, putting the chip in direct competition with Apple's M19 Pro and Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, the other chip rumored for the S26 Ultra. The leak also mentions the chip has a prime core clocked at 3.80 GHz. According to Tipster Ice Universe, he shared the same benchmark scores with the simple caption, Good signifying his approval and lending credibility to the strong performance of the chip. In another tweet, Jason C. references Samsung's 2025 earnings conference call and states that Samsung has not confirmed Exynos for the S26 series. The quote from Samsung says, We have a clear standard for customer experience in flagship products. It is difficult to confirm inclusion in the flagship's 26 lineup for next year. According to Tipster, Battle has laid out two possible scenarios that depend on the processor, which will directly impact the price. If the S26 Ultra ships with Exynos in some regions and Snapdragon in others, there will be no price increase. If Samsung skips Exynos for the Ultra and uses only the Snapdragon chip, there could be an up to $150 price increase. Minimum $100 increase. Fadl also clarified that in both scenarios, the phone is expected to get an upgraded display M14 privacy panel and improved cameras. He also warned, don't get your hopes up for a new Bluetooth S Pen. CID states that the S26 series will have new cameras, and that this is probably why the delay is happening. He believes there is no way they're keeping the same sensors from 2022. A tweet from it Alaf Fadl who dropped some spicy details about Samsung's pricing strategy. According to him, we're seeing increased costs across the board, especially memory, and that could mean a $100 price jump across the Galaxy S26 series. He predicts, Galaxy S26, $899. Galaxy S26 Pro or Plus, $1,099. Galaxy S26 Ultra, $1,399. But here's the interesting part. He's skeptical. Faddle points out that Samsung absorbed rising costs with the Galaxy Flip 7 and Z Fold 7. So there's still a chance not all models will go up in price. His prediction? The S26 Pro or Plus might get prissier, while the base of 26 and the Ultra could stay the same. Now, moving over to at Merce Events, who spotted something exciting in Samsung's software testing pipeline. The Galaxy S26 Ultra US model just got a new internal One UI 8.5 test build, with the version jumping from U0 AYJK to U0 AYJL. The model listed was SMS948U, confirming it's the Ultra variant. That means Samsung is actively testing the firmware, bringing it one step closer to launch readiness. Samsung has quietly underclocked its highly anticipated Exynos 2600 processor, which is set to power the Galaxy S26 series. According to a new Geekbench leak, the company has reduced the CPU frequencies across all cores, resulting in noticeably lower benchmark scores. The latest Exynos 2600 Tune chip now features six cores running at 2.46 GHz, three cores at 2.96 GHz, and a prime core at 3.55 GHz. In comparison, the earlier prototype had six cores at 2.76 GHz, three at 3.26 GHz, and the prime core peaking at 3.80 GHz. That's a reduction of 0.30 GHz, 0.20 GHz, and 0.25 GHz, respectively. This underclocking has clearly affected performance. The new Geekbench scores show 3,047 points in single core and 10,025 in multi-core, both lower than the previous 3,309 and 11,256 scores recorded on the older prototype. However, the Snapdragon variant expected for the S26 is rumored to achieve around 3,700 in single core and 11,000 in multi-core giving it a noticeable edge. But that's not all. Samsung's plans for the Galaxy S26 lineup might also be running behind schedule. Multiple reports now indicate that the company could postpone the release by several weeks. Tipster Ice Universe confirmed on Weibo that Samsung has delayed the event, while WinFuture added that it may now take place in late February or early March. Another well-known source, Setsuna Digital, even suggested the series could be unveiled as late as March 2026. We may already have an early glimpse of what Samsung's 2026 flagship, the Galaxy S26 Ultra, could look like, and and what upgrades it might introduce. A new listing from casemaker Thinborn offers more than just a look at its protective shell. It provides insight into the phone's potential design and some of its standout features, including a new camera layout and faster wireless charging support. From the images, the familiar triple lens vertical camera setup is making a return, but this time it's positioned within a larger pill-shaped island. It's a subtle yet noticeable design change that matches earlier leaks and rumors. The overall body might be slightly slimmer, though the larger camera sensors still require space, so a major reduction in thickness isn't expected. The Ray's 
module and island layout suggest the phone's feel and hand won't differ dramatically from the current model. One of the most interesting takeaways from the listing is the mention of Q2 and MagSafe style wireless charging. A centered magnetic ring appears to ensure better alignment, faster charging speeds, and improved accessory compatibility. The Galaxy S26 Ultra might officially destroy everything we thought we knew about smartphone performance. According to a tipster, Jukin, Samsung's new Exynos 2600 is six times faster than Apple's N19 Pro chip. Yeah, six times. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete comeback. Jukin revealed that Samsung is planning a 50-50 split for the Galaxy S26 lineup, half powered by the Exynos 2600 and the other half using Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 Elite. The Exynos variant will reportedly cover Korea and Europe, while Snapdragon takes over in the US, Japan, and China. But here's where it gets crazy. According to another tipster, Ice Universe, Samsung is considering using the Exynos 2600 across the entire Galaxy S26 series. He literally said, my god, is the change so big? And honestly, he's right to be shocked. Because leaked performance reports from Korean media show that the Exynos 2600 is shaping up to be a monster. Its MPU neural processing unit is reportedly over six times stronger than Apple's N19 Pro. The CPU shows a 14% boost in multi-core performance, and the GPU, a staggering 75% jump in graphics power. To put that in perspective, when compared to Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 Elite, the Exynos 2600 still delivers 30% stronger NPU performance and up to 29% better GPU gains. And here's the biggest twist. This marks the first time since 2022 that Samsung is using its own Exynos chip inside an Ultra flagship. Even the Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to feature the Exynos 2600, a clear message that Samsung finally believes in its own silicon again. Samsung has also secured a deal to manufacture Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 Elite ships using its own tuned gate all-round process, meaning both Exynos and Snapdragon versions of the S26 could literally be Samsung made from top to bottom. So yeah, this time Exynos isn't just back, it's taking over. The Galaxy S26 Ultra could become the most powerful and balanced Samsung flagship ever and the chip war. Let's dive straight into the officially confirmed specs as shared by trusted insider Jason C, revealing everything we need to know about the Galaxy S26 series. Starting with the lineup, Galaxy S26 Pro with a 6.27-inch display. Galaxy S26 Plus and the S26 Edge, both featuring a 6.7-inch screen. And finally, the showstopper, Galaxy S26 Ultra rocking a massive 6.9-inch display. Now here's where things get serious, the Ultra model. Software, the S26 Ultra will launch with one UI 8.5, powered by Android 16. But that's not all, Samsung is reportedly integrating Perplexity AI, hinting at a deeper, smarter AI experience baked directly into the system. Hardware. Under the hood, the Ultra packs the latest Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 processor, Qualcomm's most powerful chipset yet. Charging sees a major upgrade too, with key 2 wireless charging and 60-watt fast charging support. And according to the latest reports, we're looking at a 5,400 mAh battery, slightly larger than before, giving you more endurance without compromise. Camera for photography lovers, Samsung is keeping its iconic 200-megapixel main sensor, but this time paired with a slash 1.4 aperture, allowing even better low-light performance and sharper detail than ever. Let's wait and see what the Galaxy S26 Ultra truly delivers when it officially launches. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Peace out.